Leicester. Have a lovely time. Good luck. Enjoy. Olivia, we meet again. Hello. Hello, my lovely. She was going to see the show with Matilda, and I was in the box office. And then I said, we would love you to come down to Britain's Got Talent, because her mummy and nanny wrote in and said that she had oh. the most amazing singing voice and that we should see her. Are your family here? I'm here with my mummy, my nanny and my daddy. <laughs> Olivia, tell everybody how old you are. I'm 11. Where are you from? Bath. Okay. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. Heart pumping. Yeah. And what is the song? Define gravity. Do you feel okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Deep breaths, Olivia. Good luck. You sing. I mean, you send me literally fly. That was like a scene from a movie. How are you? Uh, 
Very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 30 years old, and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. OK. Gosh. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Oh, please be good. One word I could use to describe that. Golden. That was a stunning performance. Stunning. Totally flawless, very composed. But whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a, a trance. <laughs> Gina, I actually hate this Blobby. <laughs> Hello, we know who you are. Blobby. 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 All right, whatever. Right, why are you here? It's the Blobby Magic Show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, right, no more questions. Good luck. Oh no. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. Sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh. Mr. Oh. Blob is going to ask me to. Whoa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yes, take a card, he's saying. Any card? 
Okay, I'll take that one. Yeah. Yes. A blob. Look at it. Yes. Ace. A spot. No. Oh. Is that the wrong one? Oh. 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 Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Just awful. Blobby is. He is TV royalty. TV royalty. <laughs> what would you like me to do? <laughs> yes! Get him in there, Blobby! Disappear in box! Can you go in there? <laughs> Me. Oh, Hi, Simon. Love you. Hi, darling. Love you. Hi. Oh. 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 Let's all just sneak out. <laughs> yeah. Let's go home. Welcome. Thank you. And what's your name, please? Enzo. Where are you from, Enzo? France. Oh, bonjour. Don't say anything. Turn your phone on. There you go. That's better. Oh, that's it. And why are you here, Enzo, please? Uh, because I really want to disturb your mind. Good. His mind's very disturbed Thank anyway. You. <laughs> yeah. Enzo, uh, kidding aside, kind of what's the dream here? Why are you here? My dream is to have my own show in Vegas. Or... In Vegas? Yeah, maybe. All right, Enzo, you're very mysterious. I like that. So, no more questions. OK. We won't talk too much during this, because we'll be in the dark, so... Enjoy! So, tonight, I would like to test your powers of perception. Let's do this. Do 
During this, you will always be in direct contact with me, visually and audibly. But be careful, because if you blink, you might miss it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Any question? How did I do it? No, oh, sorry, a magician never reveals his secret. Should I tell you I did it? Yes! Yes, please! Okay, I'll make an exception tonight, just for you. And especially for Britain Got Talent. And you're going to love it. What you didn't know from the beginning is that I use the stage light to catch your attention, to show you certain things but also to hide things from you. I will do this again. But this time, I will wear with this reflective jumpsuit and use some UV lights. Then you can witness how I go from point A, the chair, to point B, right here. Are you ready? Here we go. Right, we're going to see how it's done. This is good. What you didn't know earlier is that there is a moving plate on the back of the chair, which allows me to escape at the very last second. I must be fast, precise, and do all this in pitch black, believe me, which is not that simple. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I've never seen an act like that before. Bravo. I love the way you communicate with the audience, the mystery, everything about the production was fabulous. I love it. I cannot take my eyes off of you. Enchanting. Merci. We are the ghetto kids from the Pearl of Africa, Uganda.
literally exploding. I'm telling you, you should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say. Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Amy Lou. I'm 34. I'm from a little place called Tipton in the West Midlands. You might tell by my accent. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a day job, Amy? I do. I work part time in a sunbed shop. <laughs> hence, hence the little. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> have you performed in front of big audiences like this before? No, this is my, my first ever. At weekends, I sing in the local pubs, down the duck and goose, whoever will have me, really. <laughs> <laughs> have you brought anyone with you today? I have. I've got my mum, dad and my partner. Whoa! I have a four-year-old son and a little girl on the way. I am 30 weeks pregnant. Oh, <laughs> oh well, look, don't know what you're going to sing, but good luck. Thank you Go so much. It. Thank you. Listen to the song here in my heart, a melody I start but can't complete. Oh, the time has come for my dreams to be heard. Saddle or turn into your own All cause you won't listen My favourite audition. So wow, thank you so much. Wow. The minute you started singing, I was just covered in goosebumps. I watch you watch the audience reaction. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so connected oh. in all my years of doing it. My name is Thomas Vu. And where are you from, Thomas? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Ooh, Ooh, Los America! Angeles! America! So, uh, what brought you to Britain's Got Talent? I wanted to show the world that the Rubik's Cube can be very interesting. Oh, God, it's a blinking Rubik's Cube. I don't want to give too much away and uh, let you guys see for yourself. Well, I can't wait to yeah. see it. Yeah. Just so you can examine this puzzle, it is a standard cube. I'd love for the judges, please scramble it. Pass it along to each other, and once you're completed, thank you. Place it right nice to here. meet you, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. How are you? Doing great. Good. Welcome. Yes. Oh, handshake from Simon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's not quite the same. <laughs> Pleasure. So uh, while you guys are scrambling that, um, I'm going to go finish getting ready. I think I completed it in the 90s, and then I just threw it in the bin. <laughs> I just, I just don't. don't get it. I never got it either. It's a real game of patience. What's happening here? 
Where's he gone? What's going on? The trouble is, they are a little bit Oh my God. What's that? Now, what has that got to do with the Rubik's Cube? What is he covered in slime? I'm going to solve the Rubik's Cube in the most dangerous way possible. I'm going to be lit on fire. No way! What? What? We, we were going to play along. I'm not doing that. And I won't be extinguished until I finish solving that cube. No, no! I can only be on fire for so long. Otherwise, we enter the danger zone where I run the risk of being burnt. Do not try this at home. Of course not. Ever. I think you've got issues. Now. I feel pretty warm. <laughs> you decided Rubik's Cube set myself on fire. I'm actually a professional stuntman. Oh, wow. You know what, Thomas, you're hot. <laughs> so, oh, he's a cat. Um, hello. My name is uh, Noodle. I wanted to come and audition for Britain's Got Talent because there are so many dogs made famous by the show. I thought it was time you see a talented cat. Or <laughs> <laughs> <A> furball. <laughs> OK, let's go. What is he supposed to do? This might be the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Birds flying high, you know how I feel. What? Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It's so good. It's always behind. It's oh, you guys me. I haven't got a clue.
be Michael Bublé's pussycat. <laughs> I mean, Noodle, when did you first start singing? I've sung ever since I was a kitten. <laughs> and I think, Noodle, you possibly could win the show. Wow. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Let's start with hello. Hello. I am uh, Viggo. I'm from uh, Norway, but I, I live in the UK now. Good. Norway is very boring. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your last name? Uh, Ven. Yeah, like the diagram. You know? Ven diagram, that's right. Viggo, why are you here? I, I'm here because uh, I want to become a British comedian. Okay, <laughs> hey. hey, right, no more questions. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Simon's face is like this. <laughs> Look at Simon's face. <laughs> In Norway, that means you're doing really good. <laughs> Oh. Is there any more? Is there any more? Come on, please. Honestly? Okay, any more? You want more? No. <laughs> no. I love this app so much! Stupidity to such a level that was just, it was killing me. Oh, I thought you were going to do stand up comedy. Yeah, but it's a bit difficult with the language for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was really annoying. It was stupid. None of it was very good. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello, too. <laughs> Tell me all about you. I want to know everything. My name is uh, MB14. 
and I'm French. Oh, c'est très bien. And, and what made you come to this show in, in Britain, Britain Got Talent? The train, Eurostar. <laughs> It's been a long time that I've, I've been watching BGT, you know? And I remember when I started watching that show, I felt a lot of inspiration. And I said to myself, maybe one day I'll be on that stage, so. Well, here you are. I thought maybe I'll be on the stage one day, but not in the audience. So, uh, what is your act based on? Uh, basically, I'm, all you're about to hear is made uh, with my voice. So I hope you like it. <laughs> show us what you've got. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. hypnotized by your music. That is the power of music, that it gets you, and it makes you want to dance, it makes you happy. You did a fantastic job, Alicia. You are absolutely phenomenal. We've never had anyone like you on the show. I agree. The fact that you've got nice hair, no one cares about that today. I can. You are phenomenal, my friend. Hello, London. Hello. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, nice tea, Cap. I like tea. I okay. love tea. I love tea. I, I love, love tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your name and where have you come from? I'm Tony Kaku. Where are you from, Tony? Japan. Oh, I love Japan. Yeah, Tony Kaku, Japan. Why have you flown all the way to be on Britain's Got Talent? I want to perform to Loyang family. Woohoo! Yeah! King Charles loves me. And what you're doing for us today, is it your day job? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> if you want it to be, it is. Do you want to just get on with it? Okay. Yeah. 
my dance never seen before. No, 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 no. I'm wearing pants. Yes. But I can pose naked. Okay. okay. Time. No, thank you. Number one. Football player naked pose. Come on. Don't worry, I'm wearing pants. Okay. okay. Number two. Okay, horse racer naked pole. Don't worry, I'm wearing. Okay. Number three. James Bond, naked pole. James Bond, yeah. So much. Don't worry, I'm wearing. Ah! Hey! It's genius. Finally! Don't stop! Spice Girls! Spice Girls! Wannabe! Wannabe! Naked pose! Come on! my favorite contestant of the whole series so far. Thank you. I have to say, you definitely have balls. <laughs> Honestly, you are the funniest contestant we've had on all year. Seriously. Funny boy. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> oh. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Claire. I'm 33 from Liverpool. Mm. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf. Tell us about you, Claire. Do you have a day job? Um, no, I don't. I'm a full-time mother. Have you brought anyone with you today? I'm here with my 15-year-old daughter. She thinks it's me auditioning. What? I don't know. She's got me through some very hard times in my life. I feel like I owe her. Um, so I'm giving me audition up for my daughter. Oh, my God! I'm oh. um, sorry, I'm not following this. Sorry, guys. I'm giving my audition up today for Tia. That's you. That's you. <laughs> so cute. This is my way of saying she's fabulous. I'm going to walk along. Because she deserves it and she's an incredible person. You're going to need that. Go on. Go on. Go on. I love you so much, Peter, and we're all very proud of you. Well, at least you walked out. <laughs> A lot of 15-year-olds would be out that door. My gosh, I love you. So you doesn't realise how good she is. You thought you were just coming for a day out? To support your mum, because you thought your mum was going to be doing the audition. Yeah. 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 Tia, 
Lovely name. Nice to meet you, darling. How are you feeling? Don't know. <laughs> you want to get yourself together, yeah. maybe, and then yeah. come back and see us a bit later. Would you like to do that, darling? Yeah. Yeah, then get yourself prepared. Yeah? Thank you very much. Okay. See you in a bit. <laughs> wow. Surprise. What? Did you have this I before, didn't get it at Simon? First, I didn't understand. Has this ever happened before? No. You... We'll send some more acts on, and then we'll Thank see you in a minute. You. Yeah. Oh, Thank right. you. No problem. So it's her gift to her daughter, bless. Hello. Hi. We meet again. Tia, when did you first start singing? Um, I think I think it was about four. Um, I usually sing in the shower, so this is the biggest thing I've ever done. Feeling ready now, darling? All prepared. Well, we're so excited to hear you. Enjoy this moment. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, Are you nervous now? <laughs> massive career ahead of you. Well done. Well done, Tia. How did that feel? Amazing. And what's your name, please? I am... Uh, my name's Travis George. I'm 22. And, um... And I'm here from South Wales. And what brought you on the show this year? I believe that Britain's Got Talent is the greatest opportunity for any person who wants to try and achieve their dream in the UK. I, 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 I love singing. That's always been the dream. What, what is your dream? What kind of singer are you? Where would you like to be? I mean, tell me. Um, I... I... OK, Travis, so... Big day. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, boy! 
All right, Travis, best of luck. Really hope this goes well. Good luck. Messing around, were you? Um, <laughs> Bruno, talk about going for it. I tell you, you could walk into a West End show, a Broadway show tomorrow. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, Lisa. How are you, my darling? Do, do you? you look nice? You look fabulous. We have met before, haven't we? Yes. Felicia invited us to come and audition today, didn't yes. she? Yes! <laughs> so, for everybody here, tell us a bit about yourselves and what you're going to be doing and why. Well, for Nathan, this is such a special moment to get to perform for everybody and show that when you really have a passion for something, then you can achieve really great things. As you can see, he's got a wonderfully cheeky personality and just thrives on dancing. And we are very excited because today we're going to perform Nathan's favourite dance, which is the... Cha, cha, cha! Oh, we yes. love cha, cha, cha! For you, um, Bruno. Oh, for me, my darling. Oh. Yeah, darling. <laughs> 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 and all please stand up, they shouting, clapping, and tear. Come on! Well, whenever you're ready, good luck! Again.
It was a cheeky, sizzling, joyous cha-cha-cha. You didn't give me that. You didn't give me the shape. You were working it, honey. Keep doing it. Nathan, I feel so proud of you. Your footwork was brilliant. Your facial expressions were everything. You were just amazing. Everything about this audition, I've got to tell you, I love. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> what is your name? My name's Dylan. Hello, Dylan. Where are you coming from? I'm from London. From London? <laughs> and uh, what is your act? Singing. Oh, we love a singer. <laughs> what inspired you to sing? Um, well, I've been singing since I was little, really. Oh, so, really? yeah. Yeah, with my sisters. And now I'm here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm very scared. How old are you, Dylan? I'm 12. Much so if you I'm win so the competition, what are you going to do with the prize? Well, I'd love to go to America. <laughs> so, yeah, to Disneyland. And I'd also set aside some of the money for maybe albums for when I'm older, I guess. Okay. You've got it all worked out, haven't you, Dylan? I love that. It's so sweet. Very sweet. Are you ready? Yes. OK, come on, let's go. <coughs> <laughs> oh, he's sweet, sweet kid. Most of that audition just gobsmacked. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such not only an incredible tone, but your technique is off the scale. Thank you. Dylan, I think you look and you are very cool. You really are. Thank you. I like your personality. <laughs> you. We didn't even see a three, two, one. Good luck. Simon! Remember this guy from AGT. He 
scares me. The whole atmosphere has changed. <laughs> it really has. How are you? <laughs> He's not here for the chat. Here we go. It's scary, isn't it? He is really scary. It's like something out of a horror movie. Imagine his day of reckoning as he's led through the gates of hell. this at all. They're not going to win, he said, fuck. Oh, I have to leave. This is just not real. Oh, my gosh. Might get an early finish if this goes wrong. Bloody lighter fuel. Bye! Right, what's the name of this amazing looking group? We are called Unity. We're all friends in college. So we decided to put this group together to perform a piece called I Will. 
okay. which is about being told that you can't or you're not enough, and how as a group that we come together and power through that. Lovely. I love that she's giving you the mic, and he's like, why are you handing it to me? <laughs> What's your name, young man? Uh, my name's Kieran. Kieran, what would you do if you were to win the money? Would you split it between all of you? We'd have to figure that one out. Or you're just a calculator, darling, in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you can win? I certainly hope so. OK, good luck. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. I'm Declan, and labels don't define me. I push the gender boundaries, but don't allow discrimination to change who I am. People stare and say things. They try to label me. They say I can't be who I am. I will. They say don't dare, don't you even go there. Cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told. Till you wake up, go put on your makeup. This is just a phase you're gonna outgrow. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh. I'm Steph. I'm Libby. And, and we, we are, are in love. love. Since we came out, we constantly have eyes on us. For something as simple as holding hands walking down the street. Well, as a male and female can kiss in public, and no one would look twice. They don't want us to show our love. We will. There's nothing wrong with you. It's true. It's true. There's something wrong with the village. With the village. Something wrong. I'm Junior. Growing up, I was bullied for my love of dance. Dancing makes me feel free and allows me to act out my feelings in a safe place. Bullies ruined this. I was beaten up and called names, all because a boy loved to dance. I'm Kira. Society has conditioned me to believe that I will never be good enough because of my size, that I will be unsuccessful if I don't change my shape. People say I'll never make it. I will. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, they stare in the village, in the village. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's true, it's true. There's something wrong with the village, with the village. Our abilities aren't hindered because of our differences. Our talents aren't any less because we are unique. Our worth isn't defined by our diversity. It is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognise, accept, embrace and celebrate those differences. judge somebody on the way they wear their body but I pray. the way that you got your message across it was so strong it was an audition I'll never forget 
What you've done, you've done it your way. And look, we don't have any golden buzzers left. Oh. But sometimes I feel you should just break the rules. Hello. What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Marcus Spurdman. And where are you from, Marcus? I'm from Essex. <laughs> How old are you, Marcus? I'm 52. OK, and what do you do? I used to be in a band from that. My bandmates suggested maybe I should try comedy. Tell me, what's the worst gig you've ever done? <laughs> the worst gig I've ever done? I drew... I threw... Uh, I, I went all the way to Plymouth uh, and uh, was wearing leather-soled shoes, ran onto stage, it was very wet, I slipped straight over into the front, uh, landed with my face in the front row and uh, never really recovered. Do you think someone would find that funny? OK. And do you think you can win? Um, I'd like to think so, yes. OK, Marcus. Yes. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. He's a, he's a brave man for rocking denim on denim, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll start with a joke, seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy <laughs> you've ever had. So I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child, you know, I'd tell them, would you? <laughs> I'd take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun and shoot her. <laughs> My daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. <laughs> and the whole pandemic was kicking off. And I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink. Oh, it's only half five. <laughs> Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof. All right, new plan. One more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I will get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> So uh, a couple of years ago, I, I, had a, I had a stroke, that's what happened. People don't always believe me, because I perhaps don't look like a stroke survivor to you, but what you fail to appreciate is I'm actually 23. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of work for the Stroke Association, for obvious reasons. They asked me to do a benefit gig. Now, you would think as a two-time stroke survivor, as I am, you ought to be able to make jokes about surviving strokes to other stroke survivors. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> no! <laughs> At one point, someone stood up and went, stroke victims have feelings too, mate. I went, I oh, know, but only down half the side of their body. So... <laughs> when I was in hospital, I was very heavily sedated and um, I was wearing, like, one of those hospital gowns. So you're sort of, your backside is hanging out for some oh, reason. Right? hideous. The bum cape, as I like to call it. <laughs> so there I was, heavily sedated. I needed to go to the toilet. It was quite late at night. I parted the bum cape, backed into the toilet, sat down, so far, so good. Were it not for the fact that there was already a blind naked man sat there. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if you've ever sat naked on another naked man. No, never. What you might expect is the person you just sat on to go, get off! <laughs> what happens, the most beautiful middle class English thing I think I've ever heard in my life, you just went, oh, I'm sorry, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. You're not afraid to go there. Your delivery is absolutely spot on. I think what I like about you is your style. It's quite dry. Mm. Every single joke was funny. The kids thing, I am with you, my friend. <laughs> I honestly wasn't expecting this. No, me neither. You were just brilliant. And we never heard <laughs> jokes like this. I absolutely love you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So who are you? We are uh, John's Boys uh, male chorus from a village in North Wales called Ros Llanachrygog. I know it. Um, 
Francesco, you get together, what, once or twice a week? We rehearse on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And rehearsing in a cow shed. Just to see two-legged people, it's marvellous, all these people. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Do you think you can win? 100%. <laughs> OK, right. Best of luck. Thank you. Come on, be good. Fall so hard, then my feet left the ground. Gravity don't make no sense when you're around. Oh, I come up against myself when demons in my head get loud. I don't know how you do it, but you turn them down. Voices, the balance, the harmonies, it was divine. I felt really I was in, in music heaven. Yeah, I really, really loved the arrangement. It was really powerful. You sounded very rich. Oh and, yeah, well done. It started with a great lead, great harmonies, great choice of song. Yeah. It did. You know, we had a lot of choirs on the show, and you know, no one's had that moment yet, yeah. apart like from it. now. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good. What's your name? Ichikawa. Why have you come on Britain's Got Talent? Uh, Britain's Got Talent is famous all over the world. Yes, it is. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Japan. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. I'm not going to ask you what you're going to do. I'm going to say good luck. Good idea. Yeah. What do you think of this? Clarinet? Yeah, clarinet. They come in sections, don't they? So you just put them together. <laughs> My worst instrument is the flute. I can't bear it. Music, start!
no, 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 no. This is the act I've been waiting for, guys, all my life. Congratulations. Thank you. There's no other place for you, really, than this show. I can assure you one thing, it's not fake, it's real. I am literally speechless. It's like an out-of-body experience. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right now, yeah. It's just mad to come out onto a stage like this. I know, it's massive. <laughs> What's your name? Felix Clements. So where are you from? I'm from Reading. Do you have a job? What do you do? Um, I'm a primary school PE teacher. Love a PE oh, oh, we love that. Yes. Do you enjoy your job? Um, it's brilliant teaching kids because I was not the confident kid, so I love bringing them in and making them feel like they can learn anything. Do they know you're coming to Britain's Got Talent? No.
how do you feel now? Uh... <laughs> oh, but it's nice to know you've got some support in the audience. Yeah, definitely. Do they know what your talent is? Have um... you, do you do it in PE? Yeah, I do, actually, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I'm going to let you do it. Yeah. Good luck. Let's go. I'm trying not to move too fast I'm trying not to hurt my heart I've been pretty good at that If I'm being honest Sleeping in an empty bed I'm gonna leave my ex on red Listen to what my therapist says I'm gonna try, I promise All the stuff I know right now it came from messing up most of my twins It's changed for now And it's looking up If I stick to routines, it's gonna help me If you could stand back I used to say that I thought I needed space to find my balance Well, I might need a hand And if you could be I used to say that I might need some help to find my balance If you could stand back Trying not to hurt my heart Cause I've been pretty good at that If I'm being honest I thought that was stunning And obviously You're a very, very popular teacher That was absolutely amazing Thank you so much when you're a solo performer, to feel that stage is very difficult, and you did that brilliantly. Brilliant audition. Well done, Phil. Thanks so much, Alicia. You have such a range of movement. You can mix locking, you can turn, you can spin, and there was a sense of storytelling there that really made it special, and I love it for that reason. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Harry Churchill. Lovely to meet you, Harry. How old are you? Uh, 11 years old. Oh! And where are you from? Uh, Devon. And who are you with today? Who, who uh, came along? My mum, dad and my two brothers. Hi! Are you feeling a bit nervous today, Harry? Very nervous. <laughs> oh, I love you. Oh, we understand. We're all here to support you. The stage is yours. Good luck.
great, great, great audition. Jingle rock and roll, here we go. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. What's your name? My name's Gamal John. <laughs> they like you already. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and where are you from? I was born in Trinidad, but I grew up in London. Oh, Trinidad, I love the Caribbean, I love it. Why are you auditioning for Britain's Got Talent? After having my third child, um, the oldest keeps asking me to do it. Uh, you know? My eight-year-old, I don't know where he is. What's your son's name? Katai. Where is he? Katai, where are you? Oh, he's there. <laughs> is he the one that was asking you to do it? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, yay! Oh. <laughs> oh, bless him. It's just an opportunity that we've been wanting to do for a while, and now finally get a chance to. Well, we cannot wait. Go on, Daddy, make him proud. Stage is yours. Thank you. Oh, I hope he's good. golden buzzer because I knew the minute I heard the first note you are an absolute superstar that was incredible you can't come here and sing like that <laughs> Bruno is a new judge and if you give something can't take it away. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? You look hyped up and ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. What are your names and where are you from? Well, I'm Gabriel. Gabriel. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah. I'm Cara and we're from Chicken Chef Theatre Company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. go Chicken Chef! 
Can you tell us a bit more about them, please? Well, um, Chicken Shed is so many things for so many different people. We're all about if you have a passion for theatre and you love theatre, then you're welcome. We're an inclusive company. We don't audition. That's why there's so many of us and we celebrate our differences and we love that. That's what makes us us. We've been going for almost 50 years now, but it's still so much change to make. It's about celebrating our young people. Whenever you're ready, stage is yours. Thank you. This is a message to our generation. I know there's so many struggles we're mentally facing. We live in a world that's messed up and kind of wild. So whether you're a young adult or a little child, and trust me, I know you might feel scared. Cause there's pain in your heart that you just can't bear. And you think, what's the point? Cause you think life's not fair. But remember, I'll be by your side with comfort and care. And just take your time. I know you're feeling down, but one day you'll be victorious. Wearing the crown. This is our chance to speak to the world. For every young person, every boy and every girl. I can beat the night I'm not afraid of thunder I am full of life I am full of Sometimes I slip up and it feels like I'm drowning But the power's inside of me It's cause I feel my veins are got a shot And you're wrong if you doubt me uh, Forget the drama cause I had a little setback Fighting with the power so I had to get some get back yeah. Roll with a chip on my shoulder Had something to prove when my mind got older And picked up toys just to watch the world Cause I'm proving me around and you already know Yeah, I treat it like water cause I got my brother We gave him a gun the love that's on that stage in front of us and everything that you represent. It was a brilliant performance. Wonderful. Well done. I've known about Chicken Shed for a long time and I've always wondered, when's the year you're going to come on? <laughs> <laughs> got talent. 
and the work you do actually is incredible. And this performance summed up everything you do. This really, 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 really is a golden buzzer audition. That's what the golden buzzer is for. Well, well, well. And who have we got here? We are the big thing. Come on. <laughs> I want to hear everything. We're a community choir. We're just made up of normal people who love to sing. And we sing really uplifting music to make you feel good. OK. And what's your name, please? My name's Gemma. And did you put the uh, choir together? Yeah, along with my husband, Howard. Hello, Howard. Hi. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. Not good. Too bad. OK. I actually know Howard very well. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Howard? So who's the youngest? Because I think I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is our daughter, Eden. How old? She's three. My God. So what's the big dream here? We want to get as many people singing as possible. We just want people to come and join us and enjoy the love of singing. OK. How do you know him? Because he used to play for Mystique. Is on the air. I'm with so confused, we don't understand. Feels like it's night on end. It's gonna be Friday, Friday. Though it seems distant, though the world will change. Fridays, oh, Fridays, oh, Fridays, oh. The world. surprise I've ever had, Simon. Thank you. You wanted everyone to sing You've Got Me Singing. <laughs> the brightest day. Oh, the brightest day. Oh, the this is it. You made our day bright as could ever be. These are hoverboards. Could all end for him badly. On your mark, roll a Stop, stop, get set. Get set. Oh. <laughs> Bruno! Bruno! Bruno!
killed. Right, here is clip one. I love cheese. I would love a really stinky bishop's finger on a cracker. Who said that? Oh, hang on. They're all going for Amanda, but was that right? I love cheese. <laughs> I would love a really stinky bishop's finger on a cracker. <laughs> Get you correct. Well done, Judge. You've got a good start. You've got the only place you'd like a bishop's finger. <laughs> Conversation with you about this. <laughs> next one, next. It's a Here's really next strong one. Cheese. Listen up. Great. It's me. Back to me. Oh, me, me, David. me, me, David. me. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> Hold <laughs> safe, David. Straight Definitely. away. David's got a cheeky smile. Is he right? Great. It's me. Back to me. <laughs> me, 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 me. It's all about me. <laughs> Doing well, judges. <laughs> Who do you think has got a tattoo of you on them? Obviously, David. You're going to say David, right? Would the judge who has the tattoo please reveal themselves? <laughs> oh, 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 David! It is. <laughs> yes. I have a tattoo. This is the thing. <laughs> Let's see the tattoo. 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 Oh, yes! tattoo. <laughs> I've not paid enough money <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> Seriously? I'll tell you one thing. I actually feel sick. <laughs> but, but what That's are you That's weird. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Do you want to. Do you want to. Do again? you want to. Do you want to. Do you want to. Do you want to. I didn't like it. I did it for you. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have a gift for you. What? Oh, you know it is. But uh, thank, you, thank you so much for having me on your show, and uh, I have a little gift. What's that? Is that for me? Can I open it now? Yeah. Did you buy it for me? I picked it myself. <laughs> Judges, please welcome. Yes. Oh, God. Please welcome. <laughs> Your Britain's got to hand. Oh, no. Oh, the light. Thank you, thank you so much! 
What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. You? Good question. <laughs> 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 don't go there. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, I like your baby. The time for uh, you're, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if... <laughs> Oldest girl of the panel. Um, um, Amanda Holden. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's what he says when he holds it in his Unbelievable. hand. Unbelievable. No, no, it's a, a potato. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Go. He's a and he sits on the end next to you. David <laughs> Callion! Yes! Uh, what you have for me, a physical... Uh, <laughs> similar. He says it all the time. Douche, yes! Uh, the thing we hit, the red thing, and the gold. No, no, you're being silly. <laughs> the red thing, the gold thing. Uh, it's buzzer. Yeah. It's on the other channel. It's the what channel? Show. What channel? Just get a digital award. <laughs> ITV2 brings one more talent. Yes. Oh. You know you should be watching BGN. Do <laughs> it. Dear Williams is a swimmer. Uh, comedian. Yes. Oh, there are two little people <laughs> 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 time. Oh, and six. Yes. <laughs> oh, time. Yes. What well, Alicia really is. <laughs> a rapper. Dancer. Correct. Yeah, just in. Oh, tell you, good. you good scored game. five. What did you win? You know, nothing, because she Why started did I... showing off as usual. Did I? Do you know what? I've got to say. How many did they get right? Seven. Oh. <laughs> you scored nine. So you've won. Oh. Absolutely. Don't you? What are three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes. Uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. <laughs> Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! Let's, let's, let's replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Do you? <laughs> you finally said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. <laughs> Me and my fiance have been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. That's the truth. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I don't know when you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> so I did tell you what time I was coming home and you said, well, make sure you come back at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> she gets angry. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I say, all right, I'll get out of your face. But how do I do it? In style. Yeah. Right, yes, the clue oh, yeah. is in the title, as you can see on stage. We have four ex-child star from BGT fame. One by one, they'll reveal their faces. I'll give you some clues along the way. All you've got to do is try and guess who they are. Simple as that. Right, number one. Please come forward and reveal yourself. OK, have a little look at his face. OK, anybody in the audience, do you have a, a little clue? No, not yet, not yet. OK, well, let me give you a clue, Simon. Uh, this person did their semi-final performance on a rotating platform that lifted in the air. The drummer. Oh, oh yes! yes! It is, but can you remember oh his name? God. Kieran Gaffney. Yes, it is! Kieran Gaffney! Oh, hey, listen, right there he is. There he is there. I know who she is. I 
great, you will. OK, thank you very much, Kieran. Good man, looking great. Okay. I'll start with a joke. Seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy <laughs> you ever had. So I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child. You know, I'd tell them, would you? I'd take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun, and shoot her. <laughs> my daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. <laughs> when the whole pandemic was kicking off, and I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink! Well, it's only half five. <laughs> Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof! All right, new plan. One more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I will get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so, to uh, see what the judges would look like oh, on Britain's Got Talent in 2046. <laughs> so... 2046. <laughs> <laughs> right, David, you're up first. Here we go. What actual... <laughs> You're next. <laughs> you still got hot. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Simon, let's see you. Oh, my God, why is it? You haven't changed. <laughs> uh, I love this show. Yes, yes, thank you, Simon. I really like you. Well, the, and, of course, we've got Amanda. So thank you, Amanda. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see. <laughs> hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. I have never had a dream about a fellow judge. Oh, that's a good question. I can't remember. <laughs> Who was it, and what was it about, I David? Can't remember. Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was a very erotic dream. Um, that can't really be spoken about. Okay, like, I actually you... have had an erotic dream about one of the judges, but I won't say it is because it's embarrassing. And you know, it's weird, isn't it, when you sometimes have an erotic dream about someone, <laughs> you don't know why you're having it. You so... go, why am I thinking about them in this way? Simon seems to think it's Alicia. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> All I'll say is it's one of the male judges. <laughs> for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the We're front. In the game! You challenge me to get a performing animal, yeah? To be on the show, yeah. To be on the show. Yeah. I've managed to do it. Not only that, it's an animal we have never had on the show. Does it do tricks? Yes. It performs the Macarena. Okay? Okay. Tension music, please. That's it? Yeah. So you got me a goldfish? Yeah. Who swims? Yeah. Now, the problem is, between the door, when it was taught the Macarena, to when we've got here, it's forgot. Which one are you talking about? 
this one here. Well, it doesn't do the macarena. Hey, can I be honest with you, Stephen? Yeah. This is pathetic. Well, <laughs> the great news is you get to keep it. Aww. So that's nice. How am I going to get that home? Well, that's the that's not my problem. Here we go. I think I have either a penis or a tail. Man? Who would have said that? Obviously. No, it's David. Really? Yeah. They're all going for David. A man's gone for Simon. But oh, who? No, gone for David. Yeah, you've gone for David, but uh, David's gone for you. What? Right, let's find out. I think I have either a penis oh, or a tail. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know you said it. Why don't they use that in the main show? <laughs> Here you go. Brilliant. I mean, right, that's the next funniest one. thing you've ever said. <laughs> oh no, I don't like nuts. Unless they're covered in salt. Oh, that's definitely not me. Who's that's that? me. That's, that's a pretentious you, yeah, Amanda. It's not, because I hate they're boring without salt. But we'll go for Amanda, is it? Uh, David. I don't like nuts unless they're covered in salt. <laughs> you know what? You know what he is, and it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Woo! Can we have an hour for that? Come on. <laughs> okay. What a lovely way to finish our nice judgment. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> You know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. I just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> what, what, would you feel more comfortable if he gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. <laughs> give him a hug. Come on. Come on. I'll get out. Come on. Give me a hug. I'll get out. That's no, no, it. Come on, give me a hug. Come, come on. on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. No, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. That nice. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, that's it. What a beautiful picture. That's it. You've got 60 seconds to name as many acts from the past 10 years as you can. <laughs> no, I won't be able to name many. Now. Susan Boyle, Flawless. Paul Potts, Connie Talbot, Damon Scott. Paddy and Nico, uh, there was a woman who smashed patio slabs on her next door neighbour's back. Need names. There was a couple who threw darts at each other's back. Names, you've only got one so far. No, you're allowed that. No. Jack Carroll, um... The uh, magician last year who was called... <laughs> I can't help you. I can't help you. Bar wizards, chicken monkeys, Kate and Jin. Um... Oh, Jesus, Ten years she's been on that show. Sweat. They were brilliant. I loved them. Andrew Johnson, George Sampson, Farrell Smith, Escala. Oh, the, the, the Greek dancers. They were very, very funny. What were they called? Um, 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 the people that swept. <laughs> oh, my God, what are the people that swept? You'll notice that I don't have any shoes because uh, David has decided that he'd nick them and we need to sort it out. I didn't know. ask you to just, sit on the desk. Just give me I the didn't shoes. ask you. Just get, get, me. get off me. <laughs> Getting involved. Look at the price tag. 245 pounds. Okay? You can have one. You can have one. There's one back. The other one I'm taking back to the shop. <laughs> right, who wants it? Ready, catch. There we go, there. What a